What's going on, Irish Tech Guy here, and today we are back. More tech, more reviews, and everybody has been asking the same question. As soon as I posted that picture, I got, we need a video, we need a tutorial, we need, so I'm finally giving it to you, and we're going to talk about what is on my S23 Ultra. Let's jump right into it. <music> All right, first off, I'm gonna tell you what I'm rocking as far as like case protection and all that good stuff. The screen is actually naked. There's no screen protector on here. I know, I know, I'm getting one. I got a bunch of them coming in and I've done like two already. So just be patient. I got, a, I got some more coming. So screen is naked. And then the case that I'm using is the Metropolis LT Pro from UAG. So got a lot of protection, got magnetic, all that good stuff. If you don't believe me, magnet, there we go. So it is magnetic, you don't have to worry about that. And then the reason I'm blacked out back here is I got some lens protectors from the company ESR. Now these don't impede on your pictures or your quality of your pictures or anything, it's just gonna protect those lenses. So as far as my hardware and my gear, that's what I'm rocking. Now let's get down to the meat and potatoes because the reason you came here was to see this launcher and to see how I was able to customize and do all that good stuff. So we're going to do a full blown tutorial of what I got on here. I'm going to, I'm going to walk you through where you can get it at. So this may be a little bit longer than my normal videos. So grab your popcorn, get your chips. I'll give you a few minutes and come right back and we'll talk. All right, before you get started with any of this stuff, you gotta download some major applications. The first one is gonna be Nova Launcher. Without Nova Launcher, none of this stuff works. Well, some of it will work, but we'll, we'll talk about that on the back end. So you need to download Nova Launcher for best success, and then you're gonna download KWGT, and that is KWGT Pro. And that's your custom widget application that's gonna allow these types of widgets to run on your device. And once you get that, everything else is kind of a cakewalk. You're gonna go to the Play Store and you're gonna download an app called um, Wall Story, which is gonna cost you money, so just keep that in mind. It's gonna cost you like 99 cent or 199 or something like that. And then there are some free applications that you can download as far as wallpapers. Some of those are gonna be nothing but wallpapers and the other one is gonna be Wall Spy. So those are free ones. You just got to kind of deal with the ads. But for the most part, those two will get you what you need. You don't have to go and buy any. Now, you got Nova Launcher. You got KWGT Pro. And you actually got some wallpaper apps. Now, Nova Launcher doesn't cost you anything. But the custom widget maker app is going to cost you like four or five bucks. So just keep that in mind when you go to purchase this. And I will link all this stuff down below so you don't have to try to remember it. Now, once you get that done, you got a bunch of different type of widgets that you can go choose from. So these are some of my favorites that I'm gonna talk to you about right now. I first off have Timeless KWGT, I have Elements, I have Android 13, I have Fusion, and I also have one called Titan. Now, a bunch of these are free, but for the most part, you will have to pay for just a few of them. I think Fusion is one of the few that you will have to pay for. And once you get this set up, you can basically go in and check all the stuff out that they have to offer. And you can even program these things to be exactly what you want them to be. I'm going to scroll through my wallpapers so you can kind of just see them and get a feel for what it's going to look like. On my main screen, I just basically got a big clock. I got my date. I got all this stuff. That's that's what I like on my main screen. But I do have a few apps down at the bottom. Now, the apps look a little different than they would normally look on an Android device. That's because I do have icon packs. So you're going to want to go and get you some icon packs as well. Now, a lot of the icon packs are free, but for the most part, if you want the really, really cool ones, you got to pay like a dollar or two dollars. You just kind of scroll through them and figure out which ones you like the best. And I'm going to give you a full tutorial of how this whole thing works. I'm just going through the things that you need to gather. So in, in I got a I got a back I got a background in culinary. So we say we need our mise en place. 
This is all the mise en place that I'm talking about. All these things, you gotta get them together before you can actually start to initiate some things. So KWGT, you gotta get that. You're gonna have to pay for it. You need some backgrounds. You also need your different KWGT like Fusion and Shadow and Donut and all that stuff. And then you're going to need your icon packs. Once you got that, you got the full recipe and you can get started on working with this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a home screen so that y'all can see how this whole thing is gonna work. First off, I'm gonna delete this. Okay, so we're gonna start with a blank canvas and we got our, I'll show you how to change those and everything, don't worry about it. You're gonna just hold down on the screen and it may be easy for me to do it with my finger, but here we go. Scroll through your widgets. Once you scroll through your widgets, you're gonna come up on custom widget right here. Just hold one of these down, bring it out to your main screen, hold it down again, tap on resize. Once you tap on resize, you can just kind of make this as big or small as you want it. I normally make them probably about that big because I like the big fonts and all that stuff. Once you get it set up, you tap in the middle. And then once you tap in the middle, these are going to start coming up. Now, every pack that I have installed is going to come right up here. So the install packs that I have will be Lion, Coda, Feast, Oster, Donut, Timeless, Viral, Osea, Titan, Fusion, Shadow, Ornate. You, you get the gist. I got a bunch of them. You go pick the ones that you like and you can get a preview of them when you go to check them out. Now, this one I have not tried out and I just got it today. Let's go back. Viral. And it's only one. So viral only has one clock in there. We're not going to use that because I don't like it. It's kind of plain. The one that I am working with right now is timeless, but fusion is one that I paid for. So let's check out fusion. See if we can find one that we like. Um, and these are just going to be your personal preference, what you like and what you can do. And I don't see one in here that I just am dying to have on my home screen. So we're probably just going to go back. And once we go back to the top, we will click back out and I'm going to go into timeless because that's one of the ones I've been using on a regular basis. If I can find it, just scroll through them. Timeless. OK, now now we're getting into it because this is where you start to see some of the bigger fonts and different things that I like. So let's um, let's just pick one. I'm going to. Go with this one right here. No, there's no clock on there. I like clocks. I like time to be on my front screen. Okay, there's a clock on there, but it's kind of small. We'll come back out. <laughs> and that's one of the worst parts about it. You gotta kind of find this stuff all over again if you don't pick the right one. But here we go. We're gonna try it again. All right. And scrolling through, just scrolling, see which one we like. Hmm, nope, not that one. Hmm, nope, not that one. Uh, let's see. Ah, oh, I kind of like that. So once you find one that you like, you click on it and it'll put it right up here. Now, if you notice over here, it's like it's cutting off some of my wording, right? So. We're going to come into the actual group and click on that and click on your layer and you can scale it. So we'll scale it down. till we get all the wording inside the box. And once all the wording is inside the box, I'm going to change the position and push it upward. So you got the Y offset and the X. Those are your axes. And you're just going to push it up, 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 up. I like it in the middle. And once it's where I like it, I'm going to hit save. It's going to save it. And once I go back to my main home screen, there we go. The widget is there. It's customized and you can go in and change the wording and all that stuff. In order to change the wording, you basically just need to find where those words are. Hit that group, change the text and you can go in and type it in yourself. Where the condition is talking about, I'm just going to leave all that alone. If you want to go in and change that wording, you can do so.
But for the most part, I leave that alone. Unless it's saying like, hi or welcome, I don't really bother it so much. And once you get that in there, that's pretty much it. That is how you're going to set one of these widgets up. Now, as for some like these over here. Now, you may be asking, how did you get the Twitter and Facebook and all that stuff? So these are not, these are pre-programmed for other things, but you can go in and you can change the program and make it your own. So I'm just gonna click to edit. And once I click to edit, it's gonna bring up everything that I have in here. Now, let's say I wanna edit my YouTube one. It is the one, two, three, fourth one down. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, fourth in the group, and it's gonna highlight YouTube right there. So let's say I don't want this to be YouTube anymore. Right here, I'm gonna click on touch. And when you click on touch, it's gonna give you the option to launch an app, or you can basically choose any of these custom things that you want. I wanna launch an app, then you come in here, and it will actually allow you to pick which app that you wanna make open when you touch that, that button. I like YouTube to open, that's what I want to open. So you can do that for any of these in this group. You can go through the Play Store, you can put the app there, you can go to Twitter, you can go to Facebook, YouTube, as well as Instagram, any of the applications that are on your device, you can set them up in this stack. And when you click on it, it will take you directly to that application. Just like I click on YouTube, it takes me to YouTube, I click on Instagram, takes me to Instagram. So pretty much anything you wanna to do to customize these widgets, you can do it. Now, goes for Word widgets, as well as these widgets that have social media pre-programmed. So pre-programmed social media, if I click on the Twitter button, goes through. If I click on the Instagram button, it goes through. And that's pretty much it. That's how you're gonna program these widgets. That's how you're gonna set these widgets up. And basically on any page that you have an empty space, all you have to do, hold down, scroll, till you find those custom widgets, put the widget on the page, hold it down, hold it down, <laughs> click on resize, change your size, however you want it, and Kind of just go from there. I don't want it on there though. I don't want it. I'm gonna change it. I'll make this, I'll change this later. Uh, okay, now let's talk about these icons because I kind of left you in the lurch on the icons. So let's do it. Here, you're gonna go to your settings within Nova Launcher. And in Nova Launcher, it actually has look and feel. Now the other good thing, I'm not doing a full tutorial of Nova Launcher, but Nova Launcher allows you to fully customize anything on this device but you have to make it your default you have to select default launcher and you have to make nova your default launcher otherwise every time you go home it's going to go back to samsung ui so let's talk about the icons look and feel your icons will populate at the top once you click there, you can scroll through any of the icons that you have. Now, if you look, I got Black Pie, I got Blaze Blacklist, I got Comics Icon, I got Flat Square, I got a bunch of them. All of these you don't have to pay for. A lot of these are free, so just keep that in mind. Um, let's just change it up. I like comics, so click on that. And once you go back home, you got the comic look. Once again, if you go in here, I'm just gonna hold down, <laughs> I'm gonna hold out my finger now and then I'm gonna change them out again let's say I want to do Lux free and you do get us a, a little sample of what they're gonna look like across the top so I don't like any of those flat square let's try it we'll stick with flat square and there we go now these are plain little widgets I kind of don't like those though I like what I had before so what I had before was viral and there we go back to viral so i'm gonna hang out with viral for a little bit because i like the way it looks i like what it brings to my phone but for the most part you can set up any of this stuff to be anything that you want that's the whole point of custom widget making 
So hopefully this has been able to help someone out and hopefully this small tutorial was able to give you a little glimpse into what you can do to enhance your phone if you have an Android device. Sorry, Apple users, you cannot do this. And I'll be sure and drop links to the major things that we talked about like Nova Launcher, KWGT Pro, um, and a couple of those different um, widget, custom widgets and all that stuff like that. So I'll drop some links below so you can check that stuff out for yourself. But until next time, hopefully this has been able to help someone out. Average Tech out. Peace.